This video is dedicated to people who like to wear bolder colors for the winter or for those who want to experiment with colors. Actually, did we even get a winter? It feels like spring now and the other half of the world is experiencing summer. So this is kind of in between seasons and honestly, I am pushing for springtime here because I've been dying to add colors in my wardrobe. I was going to do a coat collection video because it was also requested by one of my viewers, but I am not sure if the weather calls for it anymore. So there will be light jackets, coats, but nothing heavy. I have a few outfit inspos in this video that I built using two core pieces. I think you are going to love the versatility of them. Let's jump into it. I love yellow, but it is hard for me to pull it off with my skin tone. Usually, muted yellow would do better, as you can see in one of my previous videos, but nothing has wowed me so far. So one way I've remedied that is to wear the color away from my face and this skirt is perfect. It is by JOA, just one answer. I got it from Chicha Max for $29.99 in size extra small. What makes this piece special besides the color is the cut here. It is cut diagonally, which is more flattering. It looks like a cross between trumpet and pencil style. It is flirty, girly, but sophisticated at the same time due to the length. You can pull it up high to wear with your crop top and it would stay up. The style sucks everything in. Yes, I mean my belly fat and almost acts like shapewear. You don't think a light color like this would be that forgiving, but it is. The lining is also sewn in and thick, so it is not going to show anything. Wear it with this chevron shell and white blazer. You have a fresh neutral with a twist because lime rim is not considered neutral for a lot of people. When pairing with a beautiful floral top like this one, you are definitely styling outside of the box. Wedding season is here and I can totally see myself wearing this. This is springy, unique, and still very tasteful. If you are not a floral kind of gal, wear it with a pink blouse. Why not? This sure will make you stand out in the crown. I really think the floral bag ties the top and bottom together nicely. I think this works for wedding as well or to a nice restaurant when you need to dress up a little bit. If wearing two bright colors is not your thing, you can tone it down with a lacy top. Yellow and blue mix is more modern. The skirt looks like silk without the high maintenance of silk and it looks way more expensive than the $30 that I spent on it. You can certainly dress down this skirt and a t-shirt. This black one is actually a shirt that I bought from uh, the Apple store in San Francisco. I think the outfit looks quite chic with my beige slides and black bag. Where would I wear this? Grocery, lunch, picnic, park, zoo. It is a nice change from a casual jeans and t-shirt. How about adding this gingham top to the skirt? Wear this with a pair of cat eye glasses and now you're a young and cute librarian. I love that it looks more conservative but not boring or sloppy in any way. If this video hasn't convinced you to invest in a gray pair of jeans, I don't know what else would. Gray jeans in the winter are as versatile as white pants in the summer. It is a perfect balance between black and blue and goes with everything. Both of my tops are super old and I've never worn them together before, but now they are my favorite combo. If you love pink but are afraid of what it would do to your complexion if the wrong shade of pink is chosen, the shell breaks that up so you have the best of both worlds. You can wear pink and rock it too. Similar to the other outfits, I am keeping everything else simple. Here is a beautiful coat by Aritza that I love. It almost matches the color of my Vivaya shoes. I would wear this to a casual dinner with friends. If I were to add something else, it probably would be a pink or gray scarf. Another way I style this outfit is to throw on this light pink coat. I've always wanted to do pink on pink. This is great for daytime due to the light color. I know there's a lot of pink going on here, but it doesn't necessarily make you look super girly. And the colors are not clashy either. That is the goal. Mix and match colors that are in harmony with each other even when they are not necessarily complementing colors on the color spectrum. Another advantage of layering like this is that you can hide stains or any flaws from the top under if you don't have time. First of all, even though the color is quite loud, the shirt style is classic with a classic crew neck so it is a perfect balance. The longer sleeve length is also ideal for me who want to hide my upper arm area. The sweater is by French Connection that I got from Chicha Max for $24.99. 
It is of medium thickness, so it is not going to show anything under. As far as the sweater t-shirt, it is as perfect as it can get. For it is true to size, and this is something I would definitely wear with white in the spring. But since we are kind of in between seasons, the gray brings the bright hue into balance. Excuse the rip on the knees here. These are the only gray jeans that I have, but I personally think this is a perfect combo. <laughs> I look like I'm doing a matrix move here. Black can be harsh against the neon, and it, but it is a completely different look if you like that. We tend to wear lighter colors in the spring, hence my choice of gray. The key to wearing anything this bold is to keep everything else neutral and or minimal. This is also when you can do head to toe gray like I did with my coat without looking drab because the neon is the accent. Usually I would wear a third piece with a pattern but I think my two tone bag is enough to jazz up the outfit without screaming for attention. If mix and matching is too much work for you, you can buy an existing piece like this from Nordstrom Rack that has two colors already. Don't be afraid of colors, the only thing to remember is to keep the rest of your outfit neutral. Pick a focal point, you don't want them to fight each other for attention. Obviously, red is bold but not as unusual as the other ones you've seen so far. Again, this is another color that looks so much better on gray versus black or blue jeans. Excuse me for looking like I'm doing a police lineup here. What you need to remember when choosing this type of top is making sure the total neck is not too high so you don't look like you are choking and that it always looks better when you show some skin. Yes, even in the neck area. I bought this a long time ago and honestly did not pay much attention to those details. Also, if you haven't noticed, the arm length is a little bit short. To be more stylish, it should hit this bone right here. Regardless of your undertone, when choosing red, blue undertone red will look better on most people versus the orange red. I wore the same top with my white jeans in my previous video and I must say it looked really fresh too. If you are the kind of girl that doesn't want to lug around a purse, a wristlet like this one ties the outfit together and it looks really cute against the red as well. It is big enough for your essentials like keys, phone, credit card, mask. So don't forget that option if you have one sitting in your closet. There is nothing bold about this outfit, but I love how well the two patterns work with each other. I have to do an honorable mention here. Did you know that Gingdom was first made in Asia? This is another classic pattern like polka dot that will not go away. If you choose the wrong Gingdom size or color, however, you could end up looking like a tablecloth. This Gingdom is more muted in both color and pattern size, plus it is in the same color family as the gray shell, so they work in harmony with each other. This is a perfect for those who just want to throw on an outfit quickly but do like it a little bit more elevated. By the way, since the button up does not have buttons all the way to the bottom, it is a little trickier to half or side tuck. So in this case, I think it's best to full front tuck but make sure the back side is exposed to show off the layers. Since the temperature has been mild these days, all I need at night is this sweater trench by Tahari. This is the time I don't mind belting a trench coat. If it was a little thicker, it would look like I'm wearing a bathrobe for sure. What I did differently was to belt it up above the waistline so my bottom half looks longer and consequently make me appear taller. I am definitely a neutral girl, but I enjoy having happy colors in the spring or summer when the mood strikes. I have been bolder with color choices and if you know how to balance an outfit, most color will work and it is really fun to experiment when you feel like you are in a style rut. Which outfit would be something you would wear? Personally, I am digging for a good midi skirt now because it works for a short gal like me and it is always an appropriate length for any occasion. Happy styling you all. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Have a beautiful day.